Welcome back to Information and Communication Technology, Paper 2 for October, November 2020. We're going to carry on for the presentation task on page number 12, which is task number 6. You are going to create a short presentation. All slides must have a consistent layout and formatting. Unless otherwise instructed, slides must be formatted to display a title and bulleted list. 30. Create a presentation of 5 slides using this following file which is n220 registration.rtf okay so first of all let's open this file let's open powerpoint first of all and click on open and browse to that specific let me copy the path from here and nothing will appear over here when you uh, browse to that uh, located area or the working file or working area so make sure you're clicking from here all files show so all the extensions will be showing click over n220 registration.rtf and click on open you will notice that five slides will be opened as it is told here after that use a master slide before everything else let's save that file into our working area And let's make sure we're saving it over uh, in that same folder. Make sure you're using the extension of PPTX or PowerPoint presentation and save it by using any name. Just make sure it is saved in that working area. After that, let's read the question. Use a master slide. So using the master slide to display only the following features. Your name, center number, candidate number in the bottom left of the corner. So let's add this three information at the left, uh, the, in the bottom left of the, all the slides. So let's go to view and open the slide master. Always browse to the very first file. So you will notice over here, we can add right now everything. All our slide master will be changed from here. So click on insert and click on header and footer. You need to activate the footer part. Notice that as I am activating the footer part, here the center part is going to be, uh, will turn into black. So activate footer. That means footer will be appearing in the center over here. So let's add the information. And click on apply to all. Here the information is added. We need to switch it with a calendar. Just to make sure it is still the left side, make it a, to the left alignment. Let's close the slide master and let's check is it added correctly. It is added correctly, but we need to take it more to the left side. So let's go back to the view, slide master, browse to the very first one. And anyway, it is already to the left. And I'm going just to make it smaller. Okay, the next one we need to add is the club logo, which is saved as n220logo.jpg uh, file in the source file. That must be added over here. Okay, we need to add this and position it in the top left corner of the slide. And we need to resize it with the width of 3 cm. Remember, it's a width. And we have to maintain the aspect ratio. So let's go back again. We need to add it to the top left here. So click on insert and go to pictures, browse to your working area and add that image. Okay, we need to position it at the top left, but first of all, we need to resize the width and the height, uh, especially the width. So you can see from here, or you can click on right click and size and position and from here the width you, even if you notice it is in inches it's all right you can write it in centimeters so write down three centimeter and press on enter it will convert it into uh, inches never mind about that point uh, because this is three centimeter which is equal to 1.18 inches um, just make sure you're not changing in the height so here we go 
the picture got changed we have to position it at the left top um, okay one point we shouldn't overlap with this so what we can do we need to resize this to be a little bit away from it let's see how it is looking so close it and let's check it is okay okay so the next point we added these two points uh, the third point we need to add in the slide master in the master slide is the automated slide number which is supposed to be on the top right of every slide so let's go to view and click on slide master again scroll to the very first one and we need to add we need to insert header and footer and we need to click on slide number you will notice this side got activated so apply to all which is this one we need to take it to the top most to the right top so there is one thing if it is bothering you what we can do that those uh, things are not going for me till the corner so what I can do I can extend it extend this part also this one as well um, okay for those are the three points that I need to add so I'm going to remove this as I don't need it and not mentioned and let me adjust this back again but take it to the lower Okay, so let's close the slide master and let's check it. Okay, right now I feel it is much better. And then let's go to make sure master slide item appear in every, in the same position on every slide. And there is no overlap in any slide. We already made sure that we're not overlapping in anything and we deleted any unnecessary other uh, features that we don't need it after that as it is mentioned here only only this feature is supposed to be showing that's it okay the next question 31 insert a new slide as slide number one and format the slide so that okay first of all let's add it so number one here new slide will be added over here drag it to the top and it's supposed to be a title slide layout with no bullets so right click layout title slide the title and subtitle supposed to be center in the middle of the slide so this is already center and subtitle also center question 32 enter the text Tawara MTV 2020 race as a title and enter the text presented by followed by your name as a subtitle Question number 33 on the slide with the title, the course, locate the three items. Okay, so let's go to the course, which is this one. Okay, which is slide number three. We need to locate the, these three bulleted points, one arrow, two arrow, and three arrows okay over here and format these three to look like the following they're supposed to be before potentially and after road so here's potentially and here is road and I need to make it as the following like this so okay first of all we need to make it into a second level um, list which is by using this arrow here increase the list level okay that's the first point second point we need to make it with those dashes so to do this still highlight all of them and then go to bulleted points over here all bullets 
you won't find the same exact design so you have to go to bullets and numbering and click on customize and you can look for it from here you can scroll up or down or change the font from here to find it out try to be quick and find it out whatever you can find matching to it you can use it over here I got some of them so I'm going to use this middle size and click on OK and add OK and here we go this is more or less the same second point this is a smaller size number so smaller size font so I'm going to reduce the font size as this is 24 and this is 28 maybe I'm going to reduce it a little bit more as you can see here it is smaller quite visible Um, I believe that's too small previously it was 24 I'm going to make it 22 that's enough after that I'm going last thing we need to do is it looks like an italic so let's change it to italic and that's it it is more or less the same the last point as you can see that these arrows are from starting from this part of potentially actually this is not a big point but if you want to change it you can highlight all of them and move the cursor a little bit to inner side the next point is 34 add the following text as presenter speaker note to the slide with the title the course okay which is the same slide we need to add this as a speaker or uh, presenter notes so here is the course down here is the notes let's uh, add it over here print only this slide as a printer presenter speaker notes and this is going to be your printout number seven only to uh, only to print for the course uh, slide so select this course slide then go to print and you have to select print the current slide and from here you need to change it to the notes pages you will notice that your speaker notes is showing over here center number candidate number is already showing over here and print your slide number or print out number seven the next question which says uh, save the presentation we already saved it actually uh, print the presentation as a handout with two slides per the uh, to the page means each page will contain two slide each filling half of the page and this is going to be printout number eight and make sure your information and candidate number are showing on all the slides so let's go to file print print all slides and over here make sure it is two slides and make sure your number candidate number showing on all the pages and here we go this is going to be uh, print out number eight that was the last question in presentation I hope you got all the questions and answers if you have any question you can put it in the comment sections